So the other day I saw a little bird on the sidewalk and he was just hopping along. He wasn't flying. I watched him for a few minutes and then I said, hey little guy, you're a bird. You're made to fly. You're not a frog. You're not made to hop along. After a few minutes he flew off. But it made me think, how often do we do that? How often do we deny our true potential? How often do we deny who we truly are and just hop along the ground, picking up scraps? I know in my life, when I was studying, um, that really played out in, like I was stuck in this trap of just doing the next thing, like the next assignment and then the next thing after that and the next thing after that. I was only like living out this much of my true potential because I was just stuck in this this trap of just kind of picking up the scraps along the way. I wasn't like asking the question of who am I and what am I created for. I wasn't looking at the big picture because I was just stuck in this doing the next thing. So I think in learning to fly, um, the first thing is knowing who God is, knowing the truth of who he is for you personally. So allowing God to speak into that place for you. Number two is knowing who we are, knowing our true identity in Christ, that we are children of God. And I think the third important thing in our process of learning to fly is having supportive people around us. having. Um, people that can hold up the mirror and and say, you've got wings, you're made to fly. They can reflect back to us. I think it's important to remember that God is our biggest cheerleader, that he's always got our back, that he's um, supporting us every step of the way and always encouraging us to go deeper and to know ourselves and to know him better. So I just invite you to spend some time with God, um, allowing him to reveal to you who you really are, where your potential is, and what your wings are, and where you're gonna fly.